with Stefan Drakenjo. He's VP of Robots and Applications for Handling a Machine at AVB Robotics. Stefan, when we think of buying a robot for perhaps machine tending applications at this point, so is the price of the robot the key determining factor? What are the actual total costs involved of, of implementing a machine tending application? If you look at machine tending, uh, first of all, it's a very diverse uh, application, right? But for instance, uh, machine tending could be machine tool tending of CNC machines. And then the robot factor uh, in price, obviously it, it does play, uh, play an importance, but often that is only one part of the price. So you might pay the double if it's a very simple application for machine tending, loading, unloading of a, uh, of a machine. And then the price goes up. The more engineering and design in the project, uh, that will increase also the price and the robot portion of the price will go down. Uh, however, there's a trend right now that there are more standardized and modularized solutions that are also um, bringing very cost-effective uh, total solutions to the market. And we are showing some of them here on the, on the booth. Now, in, we mentioned total solution. Total solution includes the machine tool, the, the, the tending robot. How do you define a total solution? Yeah, no, obviously, the total solution would be the machine tool and the robot automation. But what I was more referring to is the robot automation part. So um, imagine you have a CNC machine, and you would like to tend that. The total solution would be a robot with peripheral equipment and accessories so that you can effectively load and load parts you have an inflow you have an outflow and then you can have an automation of the of the machine now in uh, we tend to think in terms of very large very powerful corporations uh, uh, Airbus Robert Bosch Boeing three quarters of manufacturers in America are 20 or fewer employees and they face a big difficulty in finding qualified people and then you're looking at automation as a way of solving that problem so for them um, automated machine tending is a big step what sort of peripherals and other accessories must they think about beyond the robot itself? First of all, what you mentioned is actually a driver for robotics right now. So one of the challenges that both small, medium-sized and larger companies is, is the staff. Not only the staffing, but also the increased cost of, of operation, right? So when looking into machine tending, for example, uh, equipment that you must think of is um, the robot itself will do the movement and load and load, but then you need to have a material inflow and a material outflow. So that could, for example, be a conveyor where you can load easily and where you can then take parts from the conveyor, unload, load the machine. And then once the machine has machined it, you might want to go in some subsequent processes like cleaning, um, laser graving, or um, quality inspection. After you've done that, you could unload it onto an outbound conveyor and the operator will take the parts from there. So there's there's depending on the complexity of the processes you want to do, there's more or less um, robot, conveyors, quality inspection systems. As a percentage, how much should be spent on those the accessory factors compared to the base robot itself? Yeah. I think uh, the advantage with the uh, standardized and modularized solutions that we are bringing, for example, to the market right now here at the booth, is that they are standardized and modularized and proven. So the engineering has already been done before. So we are effective uh, in terms of uh, bringing things that have already been developed so they are not designed from the beginning so the engineering factor is very low for uh, a new project because it's only standard offering now it's uh, machine tool manufacturers themselves uh, very they're popularizing the idea of doing every process inside the machine in a single setup including things like quality inspection potentially even deburring perhaps for example uh, if you machine tend it's possible to actually do those functions outside the cycle and then tighten the cycle to only essential machining qualities. Are, is, are there cost savings to be had by this strategy? Yes, definitely. So uh, the, the, what you see right now down here and this other offering as well, you can uh, not only load and unload with the robot automation, like you say, outside of the machine, you might want to do deburring. Uh, before deburring, you'll probably need to clean the part. Um, and we have, for example, air blow, blowing boxes where you clean the part. After the deburring, you might want to do a quality inspection. So all of these subsequent processes are like options that you can add on to the basic machine tending, loading and unloading functionality. Yeah, for the individual that's moving for the first time into this technology at this point, how do they, how, how can they procure the system? How should they do it? But at the integrator level, should they assemble the system themselves? How, how should they approach ABB directly? How would, how would they make this work? I think both versions, both alternatives that you mentioned are good alternatives. Integrator, you can contact a, a well-known integrator maybe in your uh, local vicinity, or you can contact ABB. We're happy to take a first dialogue and explain the uh, opportunities that robot automation mm -hmm. gives. And often the opportunities 
end up being a lot, or, or the benefits end up being a lot more for the customers who invest robot automation than what they foresee in the very beginning. Stefan Zarakinjo of ABB Robotics says, think about a total system solution when automating your production process.